제가 만든 첫 번째 다큐멘터리 영화 회복에서는 마지막 장면쯤에 이스라엘을 위해서 기도해달라고 아주 애절하게 이야기하시던 목사님이 계십니다. 바로 데이빗 데이비스 목사님이신데요. 제가 데이빗 데이비스 목사님을 만나 뵙기 위해서 지난 여름에 찾아왔다 굉장히 슬픈 소식을 들었습니다. 제가 오기 바로 전에 목사님께서 하나님께 가셨다라는 그런 아주 슬픈 소식을 듣게 되었는데 오늘은 그래서 데이빗 데이비스 목사님의 사모님이신 케렌 데이비스 사모님과 함께 데이비스 목사님에 대해서 이야기를 좀 나눠보도록 하겠습니다. 사모님 이렇게 귀한 시간 내주셔서 고맙습니다. 땡큐 베 u 마치. 샬롱. 데이빗 목사님이 하늘로 가셨다라는 이야기를 듣고 저도 굉장히 마음이 아팠는데 한 6개월 되셨다면서요? 데이빗 목사님께서 어디 아프셨던 건가요? Uh, yes, he, he was diagnosed with cancer in 2015. And uh, we really battled against it, uh, prayed in faith that the Lord would heal him. And uh, the Lord had, the answer comes from the Lord. And he decided that it was time for the Lord to, for, for David's time to be over. And so in May of this year, 2017, he passed away. 사실은 제가 2009년도에 회복이라는 영화를 찍을 때 이곳 갈멜산에서 사역하고 계셨던 데이비 데이비 목사님을 이미 만나서 인터뷰를 했었는데 그때 제가 봤던 데이비 데이비 목사님은 굉장히 이스라엘을 사랑하시고 이스라엘 분도 아니신데 유대인도 아니신데 이스라엘을 사랑하시고 또 굉장히 이 정열적이셨습니다. 사모님께서 보시는 데이비 데이비 목사님 어떤 분이셨습니까? David was not Jewish. He was living in New York City for many years as a professional actor, director, professor of theater at Lincoln Center, um, was really at the height of his career as an actor, and, and yet came home from a great success on Broadway, uh, had, had acted with all kinds of very well-known people, but came home and began to weep and realize that his, his heart was empty, his life was empty. What did it mean, even though he had achieved his dream coming to New York City? Um, and he began to search for God. And oh, during that time, an actor friend of his took him to a revival that was taking place in a music studio in New York City, where people in the performing arts were getting saved. And that's where he met the Lord. It's also where I met the Lord, and that's where we met each other. Um, but David, uh, when the Lord, when Jesus came into his heart, he suddenly had this, he heard, he heard the voice of the Lord say, get on a plane and go to Israel. And so he didn't really know why, but he booked a ticket, he, got, he came to Israel, uh, rented a car, just followed the lead of the Holy Spirit for two weeks, uh, saw prophecy being fulfilled, reading the Bible, and, and, um, and he was undone and came back to New York City, had no idea that he was going to marry a Jewish woman shortly after that. Mm. <laughs> He was in a film with Anthony Hopkins. Um, he also acted on television. He was on one of the well-known soap operas. Uh, I think it was One Life to Live, and um, and did all range of things. Uh, but was also a very serious Shakespearean actor. And um, also Denzel Washington was one of his students, and um, and he also uh, acted professionally with him. 그러면 데이비 데이비스 목사님하고 우리 캐런 사모님하고는 어떻게 만나시게 된 겁니까? At the time when I met the Lord, mm. I was working with, with a rock band, I can't remember the name of it, and um, um, I was also continuing to just take, um, do vocal training, and, um, and I met the Lord, and I could no longer sing about anything else, because the love of God began to stream into my life, and I knew the answer was not finding the perfect love affair, because the answer that the world is looking for is the love of Jesus. It's in Jesus. And so I, I stopped singing. I quit the band, and, and I just wanted to share the love of God. And I fell in love with the Lord. Um, I, I discovered the Song of Solomon and understood that um, my beloved is mine and I was his. And I, for the first time in my life, I felt free and loved as a single woman. And so um, uh, a, an actress friend of mine 
took me to the same revival that was taking place in a music studio. And that's, uh, I, had, I had received the Lord with my friend and then I began attending this congregation. And it was full of musicians and performers and, and uh, for a Jewish girl I didn't have to come into a church building which, which was difficult. And uh, there was so much life in this place. And my husband was there. Mm -hmm. An actor friend of his had brought him there. <laughs> 데뷔 데뷔 목사님 보셨을 때 느낌이 어땠습니까? Well, actually, <laughs> the Lord did a miracle because we did not like each other. <laughs> and um, uh, one day, the Lord just opened our eyes to each other. And so I was walking at that, at that time in my life as a contented single woman full of the love of God, which was, God had done a miracle in my life because I, before I knew the Lord, I had to be in a relationship with a man. I, I couldn't be alone. It was, and, and, and I had gone through many relationships that the, that, that the Lord never told me to go into. And, um, and my, and I was, I was very wounded. I had, I had hurt people, people had hurt me. And so when the Lord came into my life and his love healed, all of that. I was walking in such liberty. I did not need to be in a relationship for the first time in my life. And so I wasn't in a hurry. I, I, I was happy to just serve the Lord. I knew that one day he would have somebody for me, that he didn't make me to be single all my life, but that I could be content and joyful in that, in that calling. And so the Lord had given me a a spiritual mother, a black lady. Here I was, a Jewish girl who I was the only one in my family that knew the Lord. I, but he sets the solitary in families. And so he gave me, I was in a multi-racial congregation, and he gave me a black spiritual mother. And she really raised me in the Lord. And she began to pray for a husband for me. And she was older, and she just wanted to know that God that was going to send somebody that would take care of me. And one day, she woke up, and she said, and she's laughing, and she said, the Lord told me who you're going to marry. Mm -hmm. So I thought, I couldn't imagine who she was going to say, because I already had a promise in my heart that I was going to move to Israel. And I had looked around the congregation that I was in in New York City, in that music studio, and I didn't see anyone that I was interested in. And there was nobody that I thought was my type. You know, we really don't know what is right for us. The Lord knows uh, because he knows our destiny. He knows the end from the beginning. So only he can really choose the right partner. And so... Um, so I said to Mother, my, Mother Jackson was her name, I said, so, um, so who is it? And she said, David Davis. And I thought about it and I said, well, there's nothing happening between us. He, we don't even like each other. And he, I remember he was interested in one of the black actresses in our congregation. And, and I was looking at black musicians. And, and we were just looking in the wrong place. I wasn't even looking anymore. But, but we just knew. We, Mother Jackson and I decided this would be our secret. We're not going to tell anybody. If this is the Lord, he will make it happen. And so two weeks after this word of knowledge... David came up to her in a meeting, because she was like his spiritual mother also, and said, I'm having a birthday. Will you go out with me for my birthday? And I was standing there. And so to be polite, he said, well, would you like to come too? <laughs> and so Mother Jackson and I look at each other, and we had our secret. And we said, OK. So the three of us went out to dinner to a restaurant to celebrate David's birthday. And he did not know about our secret. And as we sat at that dinner table, we began talking about our relationship with the Lord. And we were talking from spirit to spirit. And it wasn't the kind of man-woman things that go on in the world. It was, it was spirit to spirit. And David tells me, that night at that dinner table, the Lord said to, to he looked at me and 
the Lord said to him, this is your wife. And it was, it was that the Lord showed us in the spirit. It was like the time was right. And he took the veil off of our eyes. He showed me who David was. He showed David who I was. And, um, and we fell in love from that night on. Uh, and a, a relationship began. The Lord gave us all the wonderful feelings of, of romance. And we knew that this is what God had for us. And uh, so we were married three months later. 그래도 그때 당시에 데이빗 목사님한테 그 마음속에 이스라엘을 향한 열정이나 사랑은 아직 없었을 때죠. It was kind of happening at the same time because, uh, as I said, he 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 felt the Lord said, "Take, go to Israel," and the Lord began to give him a heart for the Jewish people. And then when we came together, he said, let's go to Israel together. Let's take a two-week holiday because I, I had never even been to Israel. I mean, a Jewish girl, I, I needed to go to Israel. And I already had a promise. The Lord had put a promise in my heart that I was going to live in the land of my inheritance one day. And even though I loved New York City, God, God began to change my heart and turn it toward Israel. And so we took a two-week trip. And during that time, I cried from the minute I landed in Israel. I knew that I was home. 그러다가 어떻게 이스라엘을 오시게 된 겁니까? We shared what God was doing in our hearts with David Wilkerson, who had become our spiritual father, and he confirmed that God was calling us. And so, uh, 1989, Times Square Church sent us out with their blessing. And uh, we came to Israel. We became citizens of Israel because I'm Jewish. And we discovered the city of Haifa, where um, Jews and Arabs, there's a large Israeli Arab population here. And we felt the Lord was saying, this is the city to begin the work. We had heard that there was a problem with drugs in Israel, with Jews and Arabs. And so the Lord began to give both of us together a vision to start a house in Israel for Jewish and Arab men with a background of drugs and alcohol. Um, and that work is very much uh, thriving. We started it in 1991. Um, uh, we're taking people off the streets um, with hopeless backgrounds. Uh, some have been addicted to drugs for 30, 40 years, and they've tried every other kind of rehab. But uh, the program is simply the power of God, the born-again experience, and the power of the Holy Spirit. And uh, we, we have seen many, many transformed lives, and many of our young leaders now in the congregation are actually graduates of that program. We have the 12 stones here for the restoration of the altar mm -hmm. as Elijah repaired the altar of worship. And so worship has been a primary call on this house. And, and for myself, I'm the worship director. And so we have wanted to, um, could, we, we want as much worship and prayer going on. And this is a house of prayer for all nations. And um, so we've, we've um, initiated many worship events, like extended events, uh, 36 hours, 72 hours, 12 hour worship. And, and we have hosted a couple of times celebration for the nations with many Korean teams. Mm. And that's seven days here in the sanctuary. And it just, um, we have, we have experienced an open heaven. We actually have this skylight over the, over the altar to represent the fire of God falling again. And we know that as we present our offerings, uh, uh, the sacrifice on this altar, the sacrifice, our living sacrifices, that we believe that the fire of God is going to come again and, and the Lord is going to manifest his presence on this mountain. And we want teams from the nation to come. We want the worshipers from the nations to come and engage in this, these end time battles. And worship is one of our main weapons.
이스라엘의 갈멜산 정상에 이렇게 아름다운 교회가 세워지기까지 뭐 쉽지는 않았을 것 같아요 어려움도 있었을 것 같고 그렇지만 또 하나님께서 놀랍게 기적을 베푸신 일도 좀 있었을 것 같아요 생각나시는 기적 같은 이야기 좀 해주시죠 um, This whole property that we're on uh, at that time was owned by the Anglican Church and they decided to give us this, this piece of land but we had no money to build a building. So it was totally by faith. We believed God was saying this. My husband used to say, if someone wants to give you the top of Mount Carmel, you should take it. So we accepted the gift, but then we had the challenge of faith that we would be able to build the building. And so um, the Lord uh, sent, we had 500 volunteers from over 50 nations came and built this building. The Lord provided us with a, a missionary builder who knew how to work with volunteers. I mean, he just happened to be in our midst at the right time. And um, we were able to keep the costs down through, through all of that, the volunteers. And we just continued to pray in the funds. And, and there were, I remember there were times when we, we didn't have the money to finish the floor or to finish the ceiling. And um, the Lord just was so faithful to put it on the hearts of, of people unexpected. We, we even got anonymous gifts into the bank account. We don't even know where they came from. <laughs> But God built this building. <laughs> 뭐 데뷔 때 위스 목사님의 손길이 안 닿은 곳이 없겠네요. Yes, and and you know, all of the people people in the congregation, we all built it. I remember tying steel, and everyone was involved. And so it it was it was just it was such a it built the community, and we had um, a Messianic Jewish architect, and an Arab Christian engineer. Wow. So from the very beginning, the foundations were Arab and Jew together. as one, one new man. 그러니까 원유면의 결과가 이 교회가 된 거네요. Yes, yes. And uh, one of the great joys that I have as a worship leader is to worship with, uh, with Messianic Jews um, as myself and, and Arab Christians. And so our worship team, our main worship team is, is a one new man band. Mm. We have Arab musicians and Jewish and, uh, and even some Germans from the nations. And it, it's like an incense that goes up before the Lord that expresses our unity before the King of Kings. 그럼 이제 데뷔 데뷔 수 목사님이 이제 하늘나라 가시고 그 뒤에는 이 교회를 어떻게 지금 누가 맡아서 운영하고 계시나요? Uh, we've installed uh, as our lead pastor now, Danny Sayag, who is an Israeli, born here in Israel, a native of the land, um, who's been raised up in this ministry. Uh, he came to the Lord, um, came to know the Lord while he was serving in the Israeli army. He has the heartbeat of this nation, and uh, he's he's. We really believe the Lord has called him to take our. our congregation into the next season and to bring in the harvest because the harvest is ripe today. Peter Tsukahira, who is the co-founder of the congregation, is still very, very much involved and, and has oversight, uh, is, is very involved in our team leadership. Um, the Orha Carmel Ministry Center, which is adjacent to this Kehilata Carmel um, Worship Center, um, it houses our schools of ministry, which Peter directs. And we have a, a woman's shelter, which Peter's wife, wife Rita is in charge of. But downtown, we have outreach to Russian immigrants. We have food and clothing distribution to poor people. The, heart of the, the, the heartbeat of the congregation is still to reach uh, the poor and the needy, Isaiah 58. 사모님도 계속해서 여기서 뭔가 이렇게 사역을 하고 계시죠? Yes, um, I, my role really is, continues as worship director. Mm -hmm. And I feel... Um, Uh, I, we're in the process of multiplying our worship watches here in this house as a house of prayer. Um, so I'm, I want to steward what God wants to do by inviting the nations um, and, uh, and pushing back the darkness. I mean, what we do in worship is so, you know, we're on the front lines. We're facing the northern border here. Uh, right on our northern border, we have Hezbollah, 
we have Iran, we have Russia, um, serious threats to our existence. And so as we worship, we're, we're also lifting up a shield, a shield of faith to push back the fiery darts of the enemy. And in this case, they are rockets that can set our cities on fire. And so we believe that intercession, we can, uh, we can call on the Lord to, he's Adonai Tsevaot, the Lord God of armies, and the hosts of heaven are warring angels, and we are asking the Lord and, uh, to post those on our, our borders for security. So we're continually in our worship and intercessions interwoven, the harps and the bowls. And, and so we launch the word of God like the sword of the spirit, and we pierce the darkness. We, we've asked the Lord for new music. Um, for, for, for many years now, the Lord has been giving us uh, songs in Hebrew that carry the scripture, that carry the truth, that we can proclaim, we can decree the truth of God, the purposes of God for this nation, and all Israel will be saved. The word of God says that, and so we sing it, and we proclaim it in song. Um, and um, and we, there's a, a celebration, uh, I like to call it celebration warfare. We, we dance a lot in our worship here, and the, the, the um, celebration of the victory of the Lord is so important in the face of darkness, in the face of the enemy, and um, to, to maintain a sense of victory. The Lord has told us that, that our worship here on top of Mount Carmel, in the same way that Elijah confronted the powers of darkness, we are to confront those. And, and so our worship has to have the sound of victory, the shout of victory. 2009년 제가 사모님을 만났을 당시에 찬양 CD를 저한테 주셨는데 그때 그 이후로 혹시 찬양 CD는 또 내지 않으셨습니까? I have about uh, six CDs. Wow. And uh, the last one, the latest one is called Songs in the Night. Mm. And, um, you know, the Lord will give us as we face trials. The, the night season can take many forms. Um, here in Israel, it may be a time of war that the Lord calls us to sing in the face of the enemy. It may be a day when we had a suicide bombing. And how do we find it in ourselves to say God is good and his mercy endures forever. And, but by the Spirit, we can say that at all times. And we're called to worship the Lord at all times. And so the music the Lord has given me uh, has many of the songs have been, I would say, are songs in the night. And um, the album before that, I don't think had come out. It, it was called The Lord Roars from Zion, Songs of the Warrior Bride. And that's my favorite theme today, is the warrior bride. And this is really who we are called to be. The bride of Messiah, knowing him in intimacy. So there are songs of, of our intimate bridal relationship. But out of that, we come equipped with strength. And then we're able to be the warrior bride and to do battle in these end times. Our Bridge TV listeners, <laughs> That the Lord would manifest His presence in greater and greater message, me measure. We want to see people healed in the name of Jesus. We, we want to see uh, his, the people of Israel, the people of Haifa, people of the north, uh, to, to have their eyes opened to the truth of Yeshua as their Messiah. That's our main prayer. 다시 한번 데뷔 데뷔 목사님 하늘나라에 가신 거 위로의 말씀을 드리고요. 앞으로 사모님도 건강하셔서 이 교회에서 계속해서 살아있는 제사를 지내는데 그 역할을 충분히 감당해 주시길 부탁드리고요. 다음에 또 만나 뵐 때까지 지금처럼 계속 아름다움을 유지해 주시고 건강하셨으면 좋겠습니다. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.